Yo, 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 what it do? This your boy, yo, baby, who say what's up? Record Slayer Productions back at you with another tutorial. We're about to get into it real quick. We're going to talk about this ox sand and through track. Now, this is what this is about. The ox sand track is basically a track that you're going to put in your mix at the end of your mix. So anywhere you want to put it at in the mix, it don't matter where you want to set it, but I like it at the end of my mix because it's where all my subs is going to my kick i mean my drums my sifts and bass are all going through it now this is called the ox send track right here for me i have the drums bass and keys all going through here now these i've been see this arrow pointing saying it's going back because it's sending so i put that on there boom the arrow on there pointing to let me know i'm sending this backwards through these tracks right here which is in my ox folder i have a reverb left reverb right Delay left, delay right, saturation, chorus, phaser, mix bus. All are being sent back to this aux sub. Now, I also have a room track, which I have a room track for my sift. This one is called the piano room. And I have a room track for my drums, the drum room. These two tracks are being sent to the through track. Then the through track has been sent to the master track. So the aux sands goes to the through track. Right? Now you got two ways you could do this. You you don't got it. You could send the aux sands straight to the master track. And you could send the room straight to the master track. But I like using the through track just to see the through, just to see it at this point. So I create the through track. That's what my through track for. Okay, so you can get rid of the aux track if you want and put all your sins on the through track if that's what you want to do. But I want to do mine this way, so I have the aux track. And how do you make this aux track work and what is its purpose? How do you make it work is you put a volume, put all your sins on the track that you're sending back from to the track. Remember, because you're sending your drums, bass, and keys through here. So now you just put your sins you want, name them, delay aux. Whatever you want to name, saturation, distortion, chorus, aux. So once I got them now and I put them all each on a track. Now that I had them on the track. Okay. Now if you don't have a text plugin suite, go ahead over to Layer Production to get the text plugin suite so you can make your mixer look like this where you have the names and stuff going down or everything you're doing so you know where you're at when you're navigating. And this make it real easy, you know. But don't listen to me. So, what you'll do is make a put a volume and pan uh, plugin at the end of your end of your chain, the last one, the last plugin. After all, put a, a lead a volume in, pan plugin that was in the position it was at first. Move your meter plugin all the way to behind your last send. Okay. Now put a volume and pan filter last. Turn this volume and pan filter all the way down, and you're going to keep toggling this on and off for when you want to just listen to your aux and your room tracks. This is going to allow you to mix your aux and your room tracks without hearing the whole edit. So I'm enable this right now, and you're going to see what I'm saying. I'm going to press play, and you should hear nothing. Okay, you see the tracks moving, but you hear nothing because this is a mute. The volume all the way down basically is a mute. Plug in. I turn it on. Okay, so now I say I want to dis EQ my oxes. Okay, so now I got control of this work with only my ox right now. Don't hear nothing else. I want to work on my room. I want them together. CPU too heavy right now, y'all, so it ain't gonna play how it's supposed to, but. Right now, because I got the OBS on, so it ain't gonna do what it's supposed to do. But basically, I hope you all get the concept that it's basically it. For this tutorial, go ahead and set up your aux through track. 
so you can send everything back. Remember, you're going to put all your sands on the track. A volume pan first, sands, meter plug in, volume pan again, turn it all the way down, and keep tugging it on and off. That is the control what you're listening to. Send your aux tracks and room track to the through track or straight to the master fader, not to the aux send track because that will loop your aux back, and you don't want to do that. You can probably destroy your computer or something. <laughs> but basically, this is how you want to do it. Just remember this key part. Send your aux sub and room track to the through track. Not to the aux send track. But you send your aux send track to the through track so they all can go out together into the master fader. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Please like, subscribe. Sign up Layer Productions. Go over, get your free downloads, samples, like I say, the free text plug-in suite, and also the micros. Man, it's going down. It's your boy Obey who say Layer Productions, and I'm out.